Ty, what are your expectations for Kevin Love this season? Um, for Kevin, I just think getting back to being a number one option that he was in Minnesota um, when he carried their franchise in Minnesota, um, had great numbers, you know, had a great talent around him. And I just think, you know, here in Cleveland, it's his first chance to be the number one option. So he's excited about that. I think um, his training regimen this summer speaks volumes to how he knows he has to play this year and who he wants to be. And um, he's very excited for the challenge. It's been kind of a whirlwind here the last couple of weeks with you today's show and all that, what is it like? And it, is this even more, I guess, public than you maybe thought you would be at this point? Uh, I think in terms of mental health, yeah. I think, uh, you know, just in, in seeing the reaction after I wrote the, the Players' Tribune article that everybody's going through something, uh, it was pretty apparent that there was a community in all this and that, um, you know, has continued to grow uh, more than any time in, in my career or in my life. Uh, I've had people come and share their stories and come up to me and uh, just be really transparent about what they're going through. So, um, you know, for me, I, I felt it was very fast, but it was time to, to you know, make, make an impact from, from and for that community. So, you know, here we are today. That's going to continue to grow and continue to evolve. But uh, from that aspect and that side of things, I'm very excited. What do you think success looks like for the Cavs this year? Success, um, you know, I would say I keep talking about building something. I don't, I don't know um, what overachieving would be for us, but we're going to be a team, I feel like, that are, are going to surprise a lot of people. Um, you know, our, uh, we, have, we know what we want from – or Ty Lee know, knows what he wants from, from us and vice versa. And we have guys that have been here, have guys that know how to win, have guys that uh, know one losing the best player in the world. We're going to have a fresh start. So – um, I think that, coupled with having a bunch of young players that, that are going to be ready to go and learn on the fly, as well as, you know, you have, you know, Colin who's going to come in and, and make a huge impact right away and have to learn and make some mistakes and learn from those. But also Jetty is going to get a lot more time and so on and so forth. So we have first and second year guys, guys got to make a huge impact and, you know, solid veterans that have one more year under the belt with playoff experience as well. And then you, uh, you hosted some or most of the guys in Miami yep. a couple weeks ago. What was the vibe like? Vibe was great. Uh, we were just getting into our new sets, um, really trying to have time off on the court, but off the court as well. Just uh, anytime you can, you can, uh, I talked about communication earlier, anytime you can, you know, get that going, have the camaraderie aspect going as well, um, and just having time spent, because we haven't spent that much time together is, is very key for us. LeBron was such a big presence for you guys behind the scenes. He was such a strong voice. Obviously, they're going to be looking at you as one of the, the guys to step into that particular role. Do, do you have to change anything from that approach, from a leadership standpoint, with this group of guys compared to the past? Yes, yeah, just uh, be more vocal. And there was a lot to be learned from, from LeBron. There was you know, a number of things. I mean, I think Richard Jefferson or maybe Channing said it in the offseason. He's a huge camaraderie guy. I mean, every, every city we go to, there's always – you know, some, some group of guys going to dinner, some guys, you know, going to, to watch games, drink some wine, that whole aspect. That, that you know, helps develop a, a, a you know, a family-type atmosphere. And, you know, there's continuity out there on the floor with that. But I think between the lines, being more vocal, um, you know, leading by example, uh, and just, you know, being, trying to be an extension of the coaching staff. So I think in a lot of ways, not saying that I have to grow up, but I'm going to have to take the next step in, in my evolution as far as leadership goes.